Hello everyone, my name is Sada of the Hermes Intuitive Reading Channel and welcome to your new pick a card reading. Today's reading is going to be about who is your future spouse. There's going to be an image that's going to pop in your screen after this intro and please choose your piles. I have all their names in each pile so pick your I don't know your author your, maybe your favorite author um, or the author name that you're you're intuitively connected to so yeah Hello pile number one for those who chose the other name of Branson Briggs. Um, he wrote Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Home. Am I right? I'm not really sure but it's a, it's, it's a great book and a great, really great movie. So I am not sure why I chose that author name for pile number one. But this whole this whole reading for you is so light and um, it's really just you know I'm very pure and it doesn't really have any negative vibes around this whole reading so I chose that ransom rigs and it's really a great really great film anyway we have cancer for the zodiac sign so you could be you could be a cancer um sun moon rising and venus or your future spouse could be a cancer sun moon rising and also venus cancers are really um, warm and loving and really empathetic when it comes to their loved ones so i'm not really shocked if cancer zodiac sign appear in this reading Okay, I will tell you why I feel that way. Um, okay, I'm just fixing the cards. Okay, so we have the Fool upright, Ten of Cups reverse, Four of Swords reverse, Two of Cups upright, Ace of is this Ace of Wands? Yes, it's this. Ace of Wands in reversed, King of Swords in upright, Five of Pentacles upright, Ten of Pentacles upright. Uh, what's this? Seven of Cups in reversed. Hold on. Four of Cups in reversed. Temperance in reversed. And the Eight of Cups in reversed. Hold on, I'm fixing the card because I don't want to get confused with the cards. And we also have Strength. Seven of Wands. Five of Pentacles again. The Empress reversed, Ten of Cups in reverse. Um, and this is um, your advice for pile number one. We have Queen of Swords reversed, Four of Pentacles in upright, and Queen of Wands in upright. So we'll go ahead with the advice later after we exp we we explain. I explain. I mean, okay. Um, so we have the Fool. This is um, the main personality of your future spouse. So as I, as I said earlier, your your future spouse has a um, very youthful and young energy within them. Or it could be that they really have that big ideas in them that really can build new beginnings because of the fool. And it came in upright, so it's not just foolish ideas it's something that's it's really it's big it's it's not just a small beginning um their ideas are really something that could change um your life or their life or the life of the people um surrounding them and it's a great beginning they have lots of ideas um how to how to build a business, how to um, probably build a car, how to... Um, something... Uh, they have 
ideas on how to begin something they have lots of ideas or it could be that they're really young and youthful and they have that um very i don't want to say childish <laughs> kind of energy but they're very playful thank you they're very playful when it comes to um, the people they love they the people who they're with and it could be both that they're they have this young energy within them and it could be that they have this lots of ideas in their mind they have endless ideas on how to begin something it's like if you want to start a business and you don't know any you know what kind of business do i do should i start you, you know this this person is the one you should ask because they have they have endless um ideas and that explains with the with the cancer so next time because cancers are cardinal signs and cancer the cardinal signs are like the main you know the seed they know how to plant the seed they know how to create something they know and that's purpose of the cardinal sign they're 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 the leaders and that that really assesses all with the the full card so we have the ten of cups and the four of swords in reverse so this talks about that they won't stop they won't take a break or they won't even chill out until they think that this ten of cups is already in a prep because it came in reverse um it means that when they're not satisfied with what they already started or this the situation if they're not satisfied with the result or anything if they're not happy about it or if they if they think it's not it's not good for the future or it's not enough for the future for my kids for my next generation if they think that it's not enough if they think it's not going to make my family happy they're not going to settle with that they're not going to stop until they achieve this ten of cups in upright that's really cool it's very very great energy and we have the two of cups upright the ace of wands in reverse and king of swords in upright so two of cups um you probably know this person or it could be that you have an emotional connection with this person or it could be that you're already in relationship with this person because the two of cups is about you know uh, you it's about um a couple with a great bond together and they're really just happy being together it or it could be that your this is your best friend it's it's someone you have an emotional connection with or if you haven't met them yet or you know you're that kind of introvert and you don't have any friends that you have an emotional connection with this is someone that you're going to meet in the future that's going you're going to have that emotional connection i keep repeating on that and and hold on It's not just emotion connection but also soul connection like they can really understand you deeply in the soul level like they they know what you feel inside even if you're not talking about it or even if you're not saying anything to them they can really feel your presence they can feel your energy if you're together something there's there's going to be a deep um soul bond 
between the two of you. And the Two of Cups is also about, um, you know, a really, um, I'm not, I don't, there's an, there is a correct word, hold on. A relationship with deep attachment. Because, oh my god, I just realized cancer is a water sign and we have two of cups which means cups represents water sign yeah um it where were we oh yeah um with the two of cups and upright it means that you're going to have a, re a relationship with this person that I don't mean it to be um, a codependent way, but this is two of cups. It means that you're going to have a deep attachment, and not just you, but also the other person, because you're going to love each other in a very every level. But with the Ace of Wands reverse and the King of Swords upright, it's either that. People see them as someone who's rarely, uh, rarely express their feelings because King of Swords is is someone is someone practical, and people sometimes see them as cold, um, who doesn't have a heart, sometimes manipulative. But they're really just, you know, thinking about the future. I think that in this... We have lots of scenarios here. This is going to be a long reading. Um, the first one is people see them as some someone who's really cold. Because you see how the man is looking really furious. People see them as cold. I keep pointing out the cold. People really see them as a cold person. Or someone who's really strict and uptight. But inside, they're, re ju they're just practical. They're just thinking about what's best for the future. As I said earlier, um, with the Two of Cups and the Four of Swords. Uh, in reverse they they won't stop they won't take a break until they achieve you know the total happiness for the family for the next generation they won't just settle for anything that they think that their family or the their future generations deserve doesn't deserve and that explains with this that they're being that practical man they're being um they're really just thinking what's right and what's best, not what's what their heart wants. And also people, with the Ace of Wands in reverse, people may also see them as someone who doesn't want a relationship. And that's option one. The option two for the Ace of Wands in reverse is that they're the type of person who who rarely begins a relationship or it's not their priority because they're really they're being this queen uh, queen of swords. The king of swords, they're being this they're thinking they're always thinking about the future what's best for the future what should I do for the future what should I do for the next generations to you know to a a attain to be successful for them to have a good life their really um, the relationships are not their focus but I can really sense that they're they have a good personality because even if they're I'm guessing that this person is also a busy, busy man. I 
And this is a masculine energy, so you could be a feminine energy. Even if you're a man, you can have a feminine energy. So you don't have a you don't need to be a woman to have a feminine energy. Okay. So um this is um their backstory. Probably something that they won't tell you. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, they have gone through struggles in life just to achieve this perfected, stable, warm, successful family, you know, that really a family that has solid foundation or a person that to a, for them if you meet them as someone who's really successful who owns a business um, if they already got married once and got separated and they're very you know successful it, it talks about a really successful stable person if you meet them that way they have gone through the ups and downs in the past they have gone through emotional loss uh, financial loss poverty you know really struggling when it comes to money this is all about really just pointing out money and with the five of pentacles they also maybe have suffered um, being left behind maybe by someone or it's just maybe they they failed at a, a business and maybe their business partner left them behind and they they had debts um, bankruptcy so before they achieve this ten of pentacles they gone through this all kinds of loss when it comes to financial and emotional it's, it's really deep also because of that that the, 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 they want to achieve the stable family they don't have any options but to accept whatever opportunity comes into them if they think that is going to make them successful if they think that is going to make them is going to make more money it's going to help them achieve what they want to achieve in life it's like they're they're not they're not picky when it comes to opportunities like maybe they did some things in the past that they don't really want to do but they accepted it they did it because they need some money and they desperately it's not that desperately they have this deep desire to achieve their dreams um the stability for their family if they're single and if they already got married in the past which i'm not i don't sense this um they're really they just got me off hold on because they're emphasizing that if they if you think that they made some bad choices or bad decisions in the past it's probably because they think that's what's the best at that time for them to to regain the money to regain everything that they lost because we have the temperance in reverse and the eight of cups in reverse there are some imbalance in their whole past generations and they probably made some bad decisions in the past
and they did it because they think they have to you know you see we we have the king of swords that means they're very practical person they always think of what's best for the future so they only they do what they think is right or what they think they have to do not not because they really want to do it because in the past they feel like they can they can't move away from this imbalance in their life everything is imbalanced and remember they 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 suffered emotional loss and financial loss poverty debt you know bankruptcy so they're telling me to understand if they have you know bad decisions in the past um this is the current energy uh we have the strength and the seven of wands in upright so they're really a, they're competing about something they're currently struggling uh still struggling at the moment or it okay they're correcting me on the outside they're being competitive they're willing to fight you see how the image in this picture it's like they're willing to fight anyone just to defend their situation just to defend their position just to defend what they have and on the outside they have this lot of strength inside of them but the current energy is within them they're feeling this five of pentacles upright and the empress in reverse it means that this is self-loathing empress is they're probably they're probably someone who's really successful someone who has lots of money um someone who who already attained every stability in life in every aspects but as of the moment they're they're currently struggling inside they're feeling an emotional loss i'm not feeling a financial loss as of the moment in this and this five of pentacles in upright um they're currently feeling that it's not enough everything that they do is not enough as of no moment also they're currently feeling like they're being left behind left out in the cold that's why they're not functioning as themselves as of the moment with the empress in reverse it's like they're really struggling hard to achieve this ten of cups i don't really mean to um to tell you that you know they're they're kind of depressed or something it's it's i i don't feel that energy it's just that for them when you achieve this ten of cups you're in that level that you don't really feel this loss in every aspect so they feel like they haven't achieved this ten of cups yet you know the perfect the perfect uh, happiness the stability the emotional for the um for the family in, um they're telling me something emotional stability for the family they think that they haven't achieved this yet because they're still in the position of struggling even if you know the real them has has strength because that's also what they're showing to other people but sometimes when they're just all alone in their room um maybe in the bathroom they can feel those um loss or it doesn't have to be a loss it could be that they're feeling left out on the cold maybe someone is um not cooperating with them or someone left them behind but the the real them really has the strength to 
to defend the position if they have power. If they have business, they're, ve they're very competitive. Um, if they're just, you know, simply successful, they have the strength to defend that because they're really a competitive person. Hold on, they're telling me something. It's like they're all, they always want everything, <laughs> everything to be perfect. Not because they want to be perfect, but because they want it, they want the life to be perfect because they're worried about the future and next generations of their family. It's like even if they're feeling the struggle when it comes to financial loss or emotional loss, they're still going to compete. I don't mean it in a bad way, but they're. It's like when it when it uh, terms to business, they're they're being strategic just to defend um, their business, just to for this business to be continuously successful. They have lots of strength, is what they're emphasizing. Okay, for the advice, the Queen of Swords reversed. Four of Pentacles, Upright, and the Queen of Wands. So hold on to if you're if you're being cold. No, hold on, they're correcting me. I want to no 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 Okay so Hold on It got cut off again. Okay, so I am clarifying these cards first before. Okay. Oh. Okay, so I'm I asked for clarification because I don't want to advise anything that I don't feel, you know, right. So for the Queen of Swords in Reverse, Four Pentacles Upright, and Queen of Wands, if you're already expressing this um, love, or if you're already moving towards this person, they're telling me to hold on to whatever strength you have, um, keep that Queen of Wands energy. The Queen of Wands is re really a passionate person. As I told you, you're a feminine energy. I'm right. Um, Keep that feminine, charismatic, amorous, uh, passionate with what they do. Keep that energy. And um, if you're being cold towards them, I don't think that's a good idea. Because I asked the clarifiers. We'll get into that. But before, um, I'll explain this, guys. Because 
it really feels it feels beautiful and soothing for me so um if you're being bitchy or if you're not communicating to this person if this is going to resonate with people who already know this person because we have the two of cups so you're probably in a relationship with this person um i don't think it's a good idea to be cold to them because they're currently struggling but if you're not and you're planning to i don't think that's a good idea neither so um the really um the advice to you is what's this the four of pentacles upright and the queen of wands upright um hold on to that strength that you have and always remember your love for this particular someone that you're asking about um also it's better to express your your um passionate feelings to, to this person especially they're they're currently in need of that because of the five of pentacles upright and it appeared two times so they're feeling like no one is comforting them no one is really there for them even even if this is their personality that they're working hard they're they're okay they're being empathetic to other people deep inside their soul deep inside when they're alone they're probably you know saying to themselves that no one is really there for me so it's better to express your feelings i don't mean you know to say if if it could be that you only have this emotional connection to them and you're not in a relationship i don't mean to say that you should say i love you or something you know um a comforting gesture or a kind gesture will help this person to you know um move ahead with their life and for them to not feel alone in terms of this struggle and we also have the chariot and two of cups again so we have the two of cups twice in this reading so we have the chariot the chariot two of cups and the king of wands all in upright so the chariot is telling you to focus on whatever goal you have in your mind just move ahead everything is going to be fine also they're telling me something do not back out remember what you remember 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 where, what you started it's like it's telling you that this if you're already in a relationship with this person remember that this is the relationship that you've already started so continue moving ahead keep loving them keep loving each other keep showing that you're always there for them this is going to resonate if you're in a relationship with them and if you're not in a relationship with them but maybe this is your best friend or someone you have an emotional connection with continue showing that you're someone who can be trusted someone who doesn't leave other people in term in you know in times of crisis or something maintain that soul connection and emotional connection between the two of you maintain that because i I'm guessing that you already have this two of cups in between the two and the king of wands so we have counterparts 
I'm guessing that this is the person if you're in a relationship with I'm guessing that this is the person this knight knight the king of swords so um continue showing this feelings to the king of wands because they're going to reciprocate because it's always give and take for them they just need to feel light secure and that someone is there for them someone is not leaving them behind okay that's for pile number one for the people who chose ransom rigs the writer of miss peculiar no miss peregrine's peculiar home i'm so sorry goodbye oh um if this resonates with you subscribe to this channel for more videos and if it's not resonating, if you feel like this is not my energy, this is not making any sense, I don't have anyone who ha have a, connect a connection, emotional connection with, then you're going to meet them in the future. But if you really feel like this is not your energy, then choose another path. Okay, take care, pile number one. Bye. Hello, pile number two. For those who chose you, Willer, the um, author name for the pile number two, you, Willer, is the writer of Sweeney Todd. Um, you could watch the movie. I haven't watched it yet. But I'll probably watch it after this reading because... <laughs> I I just read the the plot summary of the movie Sweeney Todd and it's about um, Sweeney Todd and his partner can partner in crime, Mrs. Lovett. Um, so I, I can't really explain you know what the story is about because I haven't watched it. I have to be honest. But Sweeney Todd is the first movie title that came into my mind. So I wrote Hugh Wheeler as the author name for you, pal number two. So I think this is about partner in crime. So I'm, I'm really, I don't know why I'm really happy that this is like some partner in crime thing but it just means that you have trust with each other and there's love um it's like you always believe in them so i have so many cards here um we have two pentacles and the moon i actually asked for the personality uh maybe the kind of attitude um, the f I forgot the entry for you, pile number one. So, um, this is a big card reading for who is your future spouse. So, um, I a actually asked for what's the personality of your future spouse. And they gave me their whole situation and not their personality. And I asked for a clar clarification because... It confused me at first <laughs> so um, I don't know I don't really know where to start okay oh um. so the two of Pentacles we have the two of Pentacles I, I, I'm really going to explain every detail of every cards I laid but um we'll go ahead first with the two of pentacles in reverse the moon in reverse six of swords and upright so this talks about that they're moving away from juggling everything it came in reverse so they're they're not 
weighing everything um they're not juggling some things uh, maybe they were um having second thoughts about something about leaving something behind but the moon it came in reverse so there are lies they're moving away from the lies and the juggling feeling but it's all in reverse so it's really confirming that the lies have been um, revealed maybe to the public to them um, maybe they found out that someone is lying to them they're moving away from that hold on they're telling me something someone lied to them and they were having second thoughts if they're going to leave the situation and it's not you don't worry I don't I am not feeling that this is you who's watching this this is someone else but it's it's really irrelevant because they don't have any cards here for the description on whoever lied to them and this is what they're moving forward we have four of ones upright the seven of seven of ones upright and the magician in reverse so they're moving towards um this with you the four of ones talks about um celebration two people gathering together after you know waiting for a result waiting for an outcome it, it talks about a happy gathering after waiting for something after and that explains because they're they're leaving something behind they're leaving the juggling feeling and the lies they're moving away from that and they're moving towards this um happy happy relationship happy foundation with you so they're they're really um okay they're everything is already set aside it's stable now and they're really they have this um energy of wanting to protect whatever they have with you because this is this is something that makes you happy this is something that makes them happy and it's i can really just sense this is this is pure happiness and they're really they're going to defend whatever they have with you is what they're exactly emphasizing to me um it's like if they had to move away from this whole thing just to protect you they're willing to do that for you even if because the magician in reverse even if things are not manifesting the way you want or the way they wanted to even if things are moving slowly even if things are not um, manifesting as you expect it to manifest maybe you're expecting it um, something in between the two of you this your situation um, to be so perfect or so happy or stable or something and it's not happening because a magician came in reverse even if things are not really perfect as of now they they want to to really hold on to this relationship and i asked for a clarifier the because i was confused so we have the eight of wands in in reverse two of cups upright wheel of fortune in reverse eight of swords upright the emperor and the empress i don't know how to face these cards properly to you guys but um it's really emphasizing that things or your relationship with them is not really going to change if you are okay with them and if your relationship is already okay if you already love each other even if something happened 
something bad happened in the past it's not going to change just because it happened between the two of you is just a t between the two of you and the other problem is just on the outside so it's really emphasizing that your relationship is going to be what it is right now i mean if because it's like you already have this emotional deep connection with each other it's like this is like a best friend card i'm really feeling that you really trust each other and it, that explains that i channel sweeney todd so i'm really going to watch the sweeney todd i i really love that kind of villain when it comes to movies partners in crime so we have the ace of swords and the emperor and the empress <gasps> got <a> part <gasps> oh my god i just noticed that <gasps> oh my god okay um <laughs> um we have i already said the cards why do i keep repeating them okay so you really have this um nice relationship uh okay they're correcting me not nice really great relationship thank you because you both are the emperor and the empress and that explains if they're really you know have that energy or that deep desire to leave whatever bad situation that's happening to them just to move ahead with you that really explains because they have the emperor energy and they have the empress and, and you have the empress energy or it could be vice versa because i'm not really sure if i'm talking to the masculine energy because it's not indicated here um this relationship you don't really have anything to do actually because you're really doing you're really doing great in terms of treating each other in terms of emotional connection you know just stay just stay whoever you are if you're the empress or if you're the emperor if they're the empress or the emperor just stay this kind of relationship because you you two are really perfect together because this this card they are counterparts and the emperor and the empress so you're really perfect for each other i really hope i have that kind of relationship so um i asked for this is hold on this is what's in their past and i'm really guessing this is not their past this is also the current energy but they really keep on em emphasizing okay so we have justice reversed four swords reversed and the high pieces in reverse so there were some secrets in the past that they felt like they're they've been treated unfairly because this is justice in reverse um there's some unfairness or this could be a legal matter that someone betrayed them in terms of legal matter or something was hidden to them because of the high priestess but now it, it's in reverse maybe they found out that someone is it could be it could be legal matter but it could also be just you know an unfair situation or they felt like they've been treated unfairly with the four of swords reversed this talks about moving maybe in the past they they're stuck with this whole situation even if they know what to do even if they know the whole you know what's going on in this situation even if they know maybe in the past they weren't moving because they're really emphasizing in this to tell you that they're already moving emotionally and physically because in the past they can't seem to move forward because of 
you know the in in the unfair judgment or um, the injustice. The next cards are four pentacles upright, the devil in reverse, and the knight of swords. So it this is really just repeating the other cards that your person is really holding on to that decision that they made to move away from the toxic situation to loosen the chains around their neck maybe the this other you know the outsiders they they treated them unfairly there's an injustice and this whole situation is really keeping them up all night with the devil in reverse but it came in reverse so it's over now they're they're not being in, uh, they're not being controlled by that situation anymore Be uh, with the knight of swords because they already know what to do they already have the key the answer the knowledge to this whole situation they they already know that they have to move away they already know the answer so they're holding on to that decision they currently have strong conviction they're really standing on their ground they're not going to you know change their plans or change the decision they already made because they already decided to really move away from a toxic situation because it came in reverse and uh, we have a confirmation of four of pentacles upright so they're really holding on because four of pentacles talks about holding on too much and the surrounding card is the devil in reverse so it means that they're holding on to that decision to move away from the toxic situation uh, mm -hmm. okay so we have further cards here we're really close to the end we have two wands upright the hangman upright four pentacles in reversed the fool in reversed and the six of wands in reversed okay they are currently because of the hangman they're currently stuck on this step too um it's like they know they have to move away from the toxic situation but after that they don't really know what to do next so they're currently stuck on that uh with the four pentacles in reverse and the full in reverse and the six of wands in reverse they feel like maybe in the past because they're really focused on this toxic situation or this very unfair situation in the past or it could be this current the current energy um it's because that they're really focused on that they feel like they already lost that new beginning you know that's supposedly can make them successful or that can bring them financial success or something that's really because the full and, and upright talks about beginnings really great beginnings fruitful beginnings that has the potential to be really really successful and it's a major card on card so something that really would change your whole life and their life and it feels like they feel like they they don't have the chance to start again or they they're losing the chance to have this beginning to have a new beginning they feel like there's no movement there's no success 
It's like after they move away from the toxic situation, now what? They're thinking like that. They feel like they can't start all over again. So the advice is Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is the advice for you. The advice is to stay with them. Stay beside them. Don't leave them alone in times of crisis, poverty. Do not, let, uh, do not leave them behind. Because they're already feeling this no movement, no success. That they don't have the chance to start all over again. So don't, don't leave them because you really, you both really have this good partnership when you're together. And when you're together, you, you can really manifest anything. It's all, okay, hold on, they're telling me something. They're telling me to be patient with this person. Even if things are not stable, even if you both don't have money, even if they think that they can start all over again, even if they, they think that there's no new beginning out there, even if there is, because I'm seeing it with the cards A while ago um so it's really telling you it's really emphasizing that don't leave them just because things are not stable as of the moment because you both really have the potential to to end up really together you know for for good remember this is a pick a card reading for who is your future spouse so that really, that really explains that. That's, oh my God, that's why Sweeney Todd. You know, the plot summary is about Sweeney Todd and you know, um, this is exactly what's in the IMDB. A sinister partnership with Mrs. Lovett. Mrs. Lovett or Mrs. Lovett? I'm not really sure because I haven't watched the movie yet. So, yeah, this is the advice. Don't leave them just because things are not stable as of the moment. Because there's really a good future for both of you if you are together. Okay, good luck with your relationship. Um, I hope this resonates with you. If and shoot for the zodiac sign. This is supposed to be in the beginning of the video, but. Um, we have Aquarius and Sagittarius, so you could be a Sagittarius with a um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or you could be an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or vice versa. Maybe your person is a Sagittarius or Aquarius. Um, so yeah, that's the end. Um, if you haven't watched the Sweeney Todd, just like me, watch the Sweeney Todd because I I read the plot summary of the movie and I, I'm I'm really guessing it's really good um, also if, if this is resonating with you if you feel like this is your energy then subscribe to this channel for more um, we have monthly readings for each zodiac sign and weekly starting this October um, also what else am I daily readings from Monday to Friday so yeah, I hope this resonates with you. And if it's not resonating, then choose another pile. Okay, take care. Lots of love and good luck to your relationship. Bye. Hello, pile number three for those who chose the author name of Rainbow Rowell. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure why the book Eleanor and Park I don't know why they channeled me that book because <laughs> I love reading books but not um, long n novels. Um, I'm more on poetry books. I, <laughs> I rarely read novels and I really, I haven't watched Eleanor in Park. 
I haven't read. Oh my god, what's happening to me? I haven't read because I I search uh, Eleanor and Park um, book summary, and it's about two people. Um, they're they're a bit misfit. Is that the right term? Um, it's like they're they're different from the standard society, and I think that's really cool. But I, I'm not really sure. I I really can't tell you why. It has to do something with this whole reading. It has to do something with Eleanor and Park. And it's going to be a movie, so it's currently in work. I, I might probably watch it. Um, so if you already read the book of Eleanor and Park, then you probably know <laughs> what this reading is about because pile number two had Sweeney Todd and it's really, it really similar. <laughs> So um yeah. Um for you, pal number three. So for those who chose Rainbow Roll, if you haven't read the book and you love novels, you might want to read that. Try it out. Um okay, let's get into the reading. Oh, I'm so talkative. So we have oh we have Leo and Aries for so they fine. You could be a Leo Sun Moon Rising and Venus, or you could be an Aries Sun Moon Rising and Venus, or um, uh, your futures. I forgot the intro again. Welcome to the Pick a Car reading. Who is your future spouse? <laughs> so your future spouse could be um, Leo or Aries Sun Moon Rising, or this could be you. Okay. Um, Oh, also, I channeled this um, numbers 9, 6, 27, and 48. I'm not really sure what is that about. But those are the numbers. Um, okay, so we have the Page of Cups, the Sun. Queen of Swords reversed. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> this card is supposed to explain to you what the personality is of your of the person you, your future spouse but I'm not getting that vibe here you already know this person Oh, oh, okay, 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 shh. Okay. So, pile number three, who chose Rainbow Row? We have Page of Cups, the Sun Upright, and the Queen of Swords in reverse. So, this person, I think you already know this person because they know you. And they like you. They really have um, positive thoughts about you. Okay, this is. I think this is. Um, this is just their personality, but not the whole card. Um, they are youthful because of the page of cups. They want to offer you something. Um, I don't want to say childish 
but they act like really very childlike, very innocent. Hold on. Why do I keep reacting to everything? Um, they like you. Whoever this, you know, your future spouse is, you already know this person, or you, this person already knows you. I'm not getting some stalking vibes, so I, I'm I'm really sensing that you you both know each other already, and they like you. They're being positive about it. They have positive thoughts about you. They want to offer you something very small cup but they're not communicating it wonder why so here are the next card the strength reversed two of pentacles upright and the five of cups Ah, uh, I see. So it was three cards. This is some... Um, they don't have the strength to communicate their feelings towards you. If you... I'm really not getting in the stalking web, so I'm really... This someone you already know. And they don't have the strength to communicate whatever it is feelings for you because they think that you're juggling two persons it's like you have two options but it doesn't have to be two options maybe four options three options but you have some um not issues but you have options it's like maybe this is someone you're telling your personal life about or your you know your love life you've been talking to them and they know that you like this guy but you like this guy but it's like you you like someone and it's like you're really juggling about some options I'm guessing that you like someone and <laughs> It really broke their heart because of five of cups up right they're really sad about it um, maybe you wouldn't see it in their face because I'm not sensing that they communicated this feelings to you they broken heart about it they <laughs> why am I laughing it's not something to laugh at um it's painful for them and it's sad because it feels like they don't have any chance with you because you're only focusing on on the other options and not <laughs> your attention is somewhere else mm. uh then um, we have the moon upright the ace of pentacles upright and the ace of wands yeah the moon talks about secrets something that you don't want public the public to know <laughs> it's actually it's remain hidden until until now I'm feeling like you already know but it's like you don't have any confirmation or anything I think you, you can you can really feel that you know this particular person likes you but you don't have any proof and you did not ask them but they're telling me to tell you that you are right your intuition is right if your intuition is this particular person likes you then they do because those feelings are secret as I said earlier the moon card it's a secret that they want to start something stable with you ace of pentacles is a new beginning a stable beginning and 
that's why they're not moving. Because they don't have the strength. Why do we why do they keep repeating the cards? This is like supposed their background story, but it's all about the current energy. It's supposed to be the background story. Okay, they're correcting me right now. It's not just a background story. It's a background story slash something that's hidden or they don't want to tell you. So this is... This is something like the strength in reverse and the queen of swords in reverse that they don't have any strength to communicate these feelings with you. There's no movement. There's no new beginning. But they, they want to and it's... It's a secret. But now you know. Also, it's um the re the reason why they haven't come forward yet is because they're trying to figure out. They're working on it on <laughs> how to express this passionate love with you. We have eight of pentacles. This is about learning something, learning how to figure out. Um, new knowledge this is this is all about learning and we have the queen of wands and the knight of cups so they're figuring out how to offer this queen of wands their cup the masculine energy they're figuring out they're learning maybe reading textbooks or something on how to say it properly towards you to this queen of wands oh, I'm guessing you are you have a feminine energy but you don't have you don't have to be a woman to have a feminine energy you could be a man with the feminine energy so blur the genders the zodiac signs and everything um but the ones represent hold on leo and aries Leo and Aries are both fire signs. We have the Queen of Wands. And the Queen, the Wands represents fire sign. See what I told you? You could be, you could, you, you're, you have a feminine energy. You could be the one who has a Leo and Aries in the birth chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So you are the queen of wands. And the masculine energy is trying to figure out how to offer this cup of love to you. <laughs> it's like, this is new to them, is what they're telling me. Um, further reason on why they did not communicate these feelings for you. This is supposed to be the extended of their background story, but... So we have the King of Pentacles in reverse, Justice in reverse, Temperance in reverse. Oh, this is Temperance upright. Page of Cups in reverse, and the Seven of Cups in reverse. Um, I don't know how to show the cards properly to you guys. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying. So, the further reason why they, didn't, they did not communicate these feelings towards you is because they think that they cannot offer something to you. Maybe they're thinking that they're not capable of offering something. It's like they feel like they don't have anything to offer to you. Nothing stable, nothing, nothing really. But they're, 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 Figuring it out. How to express his feelings. How to work this out. So, um, they think that it would be unfair to your part to communicate and not offer anything stable to you. Oh, let's just see. They think it would be unfair to your part. Um, so, to... To remain bounds?
Is this your best friend? Because we have the Seven of Swords here. Someone... Someone is being sneaky. If this... If you have a best friend, they probably like you. And this is probably them. Just saying. Um, so, yeah. To... To make everything balance. Because they don't want to be unfair towards you. They don't have any options but... Not to speak. But you know not to talk about it not to confess they don't they feel like they don't have any options because they don't want to be unfair to you so as an advice we have the seven of swords in reverse and the death and upright so it's time for transformation and the sneakiness of why am I feeling like you both like each other? But you're like cool is your future spouse. But I'm I'm feeling that there's someone in your mind already. Before you even pick a pile. Pick an author's name. And why and that's why Rainbow Rowl. <laughs> Rainbow Rowl, you both have a connection you have a connection with a pile number three so yeah we have death upright and the seven of swords in reverse seven of swords in upright talks about being sneaky it doesn't have to be in in the bad way i hate the word sneaky i really had to replace that because i don't feel any bad vibes here so you know, um, because when you secretly want someone and if it's your best friend, then you're being sneaky about it. You're being, you know, strategic on how to not get caught. How this other person will not find out that you, that you want them. So that's, that's being, you know, seven swords. So it doesn't have to be, because the traditional meaning is about deceitful and lies and betrayal. But it doesn't. I am not feeling that vibe in this reading. This is very lighthearted, very. And I'm guessing you're in. You could be. I'm really feeling a young energy. In here, so you could be in sixteen to early twenties. I don't know why, but it came in reverse. So it's time to end the sneakiness. I mean, if you like this person, oh my god. It's time for transformation. It's time to change whatever the current situation you have right now. Like, if you're not talking to each other, it's time to talk, you know, something like that. But let's get some further, further advice for you guys. Now that you know. But I'm really sensing that it's time for change. It's time to end the sneakiness. You know, um, being careful with your moves. Being careful with how you talk to someone. You know, not to be overly passionate. So that the other person doesn't, doesn't suspect anything. Let's get some further advice for you let's have some advice for those chose pile number three and uh, the other name rainbow roll what's the advice of pile number three I'm really sensing because y you like each other. What further advice do we have for Panem? What else? The meaning of this card, Four of Swords, depends on the next card.
so I don't want to talk about it yet. But further advice we have for pile number three. Okay. Okay. Um. So, the advice, the further advice for you guys is Four of Swords. Take a rest, take a break for a moment. Heal your broken heart first. I think something happened in the past because we have Six of Cups and Three of Swords both in reverse. And Six of Cups talks about something in the past. Something happened in the past in your life, pile number three. So, take a break and heal your broken heart first but in the end you will get what you deserve you will get what you truly wish you will get you know your long time wish this is i'm getting some long time wish here something you dreamed of maybe even since you were a little kid when you want something so deeply it's it's going to happen it's going to to come to you whatever your dream is but for now take a break and focus on yourself on healing your broken heart um focus on self-care improving yourself um this is the time to take a rest and just focus on yourself okay that's that's it for pile number three who is your future spouse <laughs> this is some this is supposed to be um really the future but this is all about the current energy so i am guessing that this is your future spouse if you could make this work out if you can because they're currently focusing on learning on figuring out how to move towards you so your your um what do you call this um your task thank you your task is to heal your broken heart so the other person can come towards you um yeah this is really the end thank you pal number three for choosing rainbow Row. um i hope this resonates with you and if it does resonate with you if you feel like this is your energy then subscribe to this channel for more because we also have daily readings from monday to friday and also monthly readings for each zodiac sign see you on the monthly november and there are also weekly starting this October. So yeah, if this does not resonate with you, then choose another pile. Okay, thank you, pile number three. Hello, pile number four. For those who chose pile number four with the author name of Kate Summerscale, um, Kate Summerscale wrote the book of um, The Suspicion of Mr. Richard. Am I right? Am I right? I googled it. Yes, a suspicion of Mr. Witcher. Um, it's about I don't know why I channeled that author name. They channeled me the words the suspicion and I thought I'm not really familiar with I think it's available on Netflix. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure if it's a movie or it's a film. Uh, I just googled the plot summary and I found out that uh, the suspicion of Mr. Reacher is about a um, murder of a boy and Mr. Reacher is like a um, whodunit thriller, a kind of um, like a scream movie but it's not a slasher film, it's more like a thriller mystery film I think or a, a TV series, I don't know. Um, but it's about Mr. Richard that he feels like someone is responsible for the murder of a boy. It's it's all about the suspicion of Mr. Richard. Indeed. And I'm not sure why I channeled the word the suspicion because 
in each pod we have author names so they channeled me the word the suspicion because i really can't think of any um book title and they channeled me the word the suspicion and i googled the exact word the suspicion and it pop up so um for you guys for those who chose pile number four kate summer scale we have wheel of fortune seven of pentacles reversed six of wands reversed temper in reverse temperance reversed eight of swords in upright Five of Pentacles upright. Let's Oh, and this is... I forgot my intro again. Hold on. This is a pick a card we're aiming for who is your future spouse. And we have four... Um, Zodiac signs, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. So you could be a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. and Or you could be a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Or you could have both Zodiac sign in this chart. Uh, on your chart sorry um so they're telling me to tell you that the universe hasn't planned anything yet for you or maybe they already planned something for you but they don't want to reveal it because okay they're correcting me they haven't really planned anything yet um we have the wheel of fortune and seven of pentacles in reverse and six of wands in reverse the wheel of fortune in reverse talks about nothing nothing is going to change as of the moment because you are not putting any effort or time or attention like this is not your priority there's no movement there's no success it's not that you you, you won't have any future spouse and, and it's just that Hold on, there's, there's a good side here. I always have a good side in all readings. We have the Temperance Reverse, Eight of Pentacles, uh, Eight of Swords, Upright, and Five of Pentacles, and Upright. So this is telling me that things are in balance in your life and your current situation. Um, and it's making you feel mentally trapped. But the Eight of Swords... You see how the woman, I think it's it's her mother. The woman is like comforting the little girl that, you know, it's okay. It's, it's going to be alright despite the swords, you know, around it. So, eight of, eight of swords and upright. Yes, you're mentally trapped. You're scared. You're worried about something. You're, you fear of, you fear about something that everyone's putting daggers on you all that explains the suspicions of mr witcher it's like you okay you feel like you can't be with anyone because you feel like everyone's going to stab you on your back because in, in the plot summary of the suspicion of Mr. Richard, Mr. Richard does not trust anyone. 
in the family. That's on the plot summary. Um, and he thinks one of his family members is responsible for the murder of a boy. And in conclusion, that's like not trusting anyone. It feels to me this feels like you're not trusting anyone. It feels like <laughs> no. I'm so sorry. No one is really. Um, I don't know what they're telling themselves. They're, okay, they're telling me there's something out there for you. But they haven't really planned exactly who. Because you haven't worked on yourself. It's like you have to work on yourself first. With this Eight of Swords, with this Five of Pentacles. Because Five of Pentacles is feeling like you're left behind left out on the cold like no one no one is there for you you're like just all alone look at how m the man is so sad um you're feeling the financial and emotional loss but i'm more on feeling the emotional loss on this one but the cards are really emphasizing that you don't trust anyone because you feel like someone is going to stab you any minute because you don't trust anyone it's like even if the universe is telling you that you can trust there's still some lingering feeling inside you that no someone's going to stab me so you're feeling that way um and we have furthermore we have five of swords, nine of swords, and five of cups. You feel like you're losing. You feel like you lost everything. Maybe. Maybe you tried out love before and you did not succeed. And now you're. Feeling this anxieties because sign of swords talks about anxieties, worries. Maybe you're worrying about the future, like when is, when will my time going to shine? <laughs> when am I going to shine? Whatever. Um, <laughs> but five of swords talks about. They're telling me something again. You feel like you feel like if if you get into relationship you'd still lose them. Because this is about in a traditional meaning this is about um fighting with someone or fighting for someone, fighting um you have you know your comrades around you and in a traditional meaning, the man, the man won the game, the competition, the fight. The man won the, uh, the competition, uh, whatever. Um, but he lost his two friends. So in this reading, you feel like even if you get into relationship, you'd still lose them in the end. And it's worrying you, and it's making you sad that. There's no really, you know, permanent in the world, but you know, yes, honey, there's no permanent in the world, nothing lasts forever. But you see, that's that's how we learn. We learn from losing people, and just because we lose people doesn't mean that we're going to lose again, or that could probably happen, yeah, but. It doesn't mean that you're going to lose every time, that's what I mean. Just because like you, someone left you in the past doesn't mean this other person is going to leave you too. Just because something happened with this person doesn't mean that it's going to happen to you too. 
you know this world it really works in upside ups and downs it's not always ups and it's not always down I always tell myself that every setback is a preparation for a triumph and it's really it's easier to tell yeah but no man in this earth did not experience setbacks we only have different situation we only have different experiences but we all we all experience hurt we all experience anxieties worries fears fears most mostly we all have fears yes and even if even if you think i always thought this to the people i i meet that even if it's something small to other people it could be a big deal to you and i understand that I really just want to jump right in into at the end of the cards. But I will explain it. But we have furthermore this is really just emphasizing what you feel. Um we have the sun in reversed. This is the future spouse thing is not happening because you're not being positive about it and we have the two of swords yeah you're juggling it's like you want to be in a relationship you want to have a spouse but it's like this this whole past situation your pain your sadness but i'm really feeling that something happened in the past that made you feel like there's no any chance for me to be in a relationship or to get married it's like i'm i'm really just going to live alone my whole life i, I feel like i don't have any chance that's that's i'm feeling that you are feeling um but we have six of wands and wheel of fortune so if you could just take a time out from those negative thoughts, negative thinking, things are going to move real fast. You're going to have success because Six of Wands talks about success. You see how you have reverse here at the first of the spread, the first spread. So the Six of Wands and upright if we're going to read this together whatever situation you have right now turn it upside down so if you're feeling this whole self-flow thing worry fear turn that upside down reverse that feeling and i know it's not hard i know it's not but if you could work it out you will going to be successful you're going to have movement in your love life in terms of love. There's going to have a movement. And we have the star. You're going to get what you wish for. Whatever you wish. Maybe you have a certain dream. Dream. You know. Um, maybe you dream of marrying someone that has. I don't know what you really dream. I want to. So and um, have an example to tell. I want to tell an example, but I really why am I talking so fast? But you're going to get your dream, whatever your dream is. Maybe you had a dream when you were a kid. Even if you dream of it when you were five, since you were five years old, and you're now 35, 40, 50, 55. Even if you're old now, you're still going to get it if you could just work this out. This whole self-flow thing, worry and anxiety and everything, you know, the negative emotions. If you could work it out. 
you're going to um, get your wish. Also, we have oh, also we have judgment in reverse and the five of wands. You don't have to fight for whatever judgment is going to give you by these outsiders or by the other people. Like maybe people have been judging you about your love life in the past. If you could just work this out, you know, the, the soft floating or, you know, this mentality that you don't have any chance anymore. If you could work that out, because there there is some unfair judgment, but I'm guessing this is some, this is petty fights, five of wands, this is some, uh, you know, um, unnecessary fight. So in reverse, you don't have to fight for those unfair judgment towards you. If people are judging you, don't you're not supposed to, you know, not supposed to care. We have seven of pentacles upright and the ten of cups. So yeah, the, uh, the seven of pentacles upright talks about putting your attention, your effort, your time, your energy in this whole situation. That's a traditional meaning actually putting everything that you have in the situation, the time, energy, attention. Um, if you could just work it out, um, work harder, put some effort on figuring out how to, to get over this self-loathing, um, this this thinking that you don't have any chance with love anymore if you can put an effort on reversing that feeling you're going to get the ten of cups ten of cups is like the perfect family because ten of cups is like the end of the cups so you you've already perfected the way family works how to stabilize emotions how to create stability for the family this is not just financial stability for the family this is also emotionally stable kind of family so you're going to get that really perfect warm they're really indicating warm loving happy big why is big included maybe you want to have lots of kids yeah they're they're emphasizing gigantic so yeah you're going to get it and it's we have the star card here so yeah you're really going to get your long time wish just put the effort you know on towards this reversing your emotions your negative emotions and i know it's not going to be easy it's not easy i know but sometimes sometimes we need to step up our game right Sometimes we we really just need to see the reality that you can't really you can't change the, the past. We can't change whatever happened in the past. So you can only change the way you think, the way you feel about this cer certain situation. And being optimistic is is actually hard when you when you just got out maybe in a toxic situation or if you're still you know working out how to be 
how to look at the brighter side of life. It's hard to be optimistic, but you really need to hear this truth and the reality that it's time for growth. And I'm not saying it, you know, for you to have a future spouse because I'm feeling that the future spouse is just an additional blessing. I'm saying this that I'm saying this because I want you guys to to be happy within yourself with or without a partner with or without you know a, a happy family in the future. I want you guys to get out of this because I'm we we have lots of cards here that that's really indicating that there's some suffering inside of you and there there's need some deep healing in your heart and i want you guys to get better and i'm not saying it because i want you guys to have a future partner they're saying to me the future partner the um the future spouse is like your additional blessing no i'm they're correct to me the reward for doing the hard work on improving yourself that's the reward so um i'm i'm not going to pull any advice card anymore because this whole reading is like an advice to you so um this is your reading pile number four who chose kate summer scale author of the suspicion of mr richard um i hope this resonates with you and if it does subscribe to this channel for more and if it's not resonating then choose another pile because this is for someone else who really needs it okay take care pile number four and good luck Hello, pal number five. For those who chose pal number five for the pick a car, this pick a car reading for who is your future spouse? Um, you have chosen writer. What? Hold on. Amanda Foreman. Why did I forgot that? Um, they channeled me the word the Duchess and I I Google the Duchess and it's actually a movie starring Kara Knightley I love Kara Knightley Pride and Prejudice is like my it's it's my favorite 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 movie and Atonement um, so yeah, um, Amanda Forma wrote Georgian and the Duchess of Devonshire. So I put Amanda Foreman for you, pal number five. And I don't know why they channeled me the Duchess because I haven't watched the film yet. But yeah, the energy could be you know related to that. So for the zodiac sign, we have Scorpio. You could have. Um, Scorpio Sun Moon Rising and Venus or your future spouse could have Sun Moon Rising Venus Scorpio so we have the Magician Six of Pentacles and the Devil that explains with a you know Scorpio tends to be obsessive I'm just saying um and this is a characteristic and personality of your future spouse they can manifest anything they are a manifester with a magician in upright this um this talks about someone who can really build anything from just you know a token they can really build something and they can make it big 
they can make lots of money is what they tell me they are um, a manifestor they are a magician they can manifest anything that they want um, with the six of pentacles and upright and the devil <laughs> this talks about that they are a giver and a taker they do not accept anything that's imbalanced they do not accept something that is unfair in their part and they do not accept something that is unfair on the other person's part as well um with the devil and upright they can be a bit obsessive when in love and that explains with a scorpio whether you have scorpio sun moon rising and venus or you know the other person this person can be obsessive okay they're telling me hold on they're telling me that if you're going to be in a relationship with this person it's still a balance obsessiveness like they're not the only one who, who can be who tends to be obsessive or when you when you two get together they're not the only person who's obsessed with i mean they're not the only person who's obsessed in the relationship it could be that this energy could be that you're both obsessed with each other oh and they're telling me something hold on They can be a bit controlling. No. They're kind of um submissive type when in love. Um we have eight of pentacles reversed. Oh no, eight of pentacles upright, ace of cups in reverse and the moon in reverse so they're currently in the stage of learning how to show their emotions maybe in the past they're not that kind of person i think they're not used to expressing their emotions to other people and that explains with the scorpio because scorpio tends to be secretive when it's they only become like that when they don't trust someone um, So they're currently in the face of learning how to Properly express this ace of cups, but they came in reverse. So They're not They're not expressing it fully yet to other people like when when they admire someone And the moon. The moon is an upright. It's about secrets. It's about something that hit that is that's that's hidden. So it came in reverse. So they're practicing on how to reveal their emotions to other people, not just you know the admiration and stuff. Like when they're mad at someone, when they're sad about something, they're currently learning how to express. Um. We have the lovers in reverse, the magician in reverse, and the nine of pentacles in reverse. So this is um, their past, something that maybe they don't want to talk about, something that is hidden. Something they don't really want to, to talk about. The lovers in reverse talks about wrong choices. They made the wrong choice in the past in a relationship. And with the magician and reverse, it did not, it wasn't successful because it was the wrong choice. Because, hold on, this is going to be together. I'm going to read it together. So the further, you know, the other cards are Knight of Pentacles Upright. Eight of Cups in Reverse and the Devil. So yeah, in the past, they made a wrong choice. And it did not end well. 
and this is um, a further you know um, about the story that even if they don't have anything to offer or they don't have anything to love okay thank you they corrected me it's like they keep on giving and giving and giving to the other person even if that act that gesture of giving is making them feel like why is this other pe person is not reciprocating even if they're self-loathing they feel worthless that they're not receiving anything they still with with the knight of pentacles and upright they still offer something to other people to this particular person that ended you know the past person they would still offer this person something that is still stable because it came in upright they would still treat them like knight of pentacles a very stable man um it's still the youthful energy even if they don't have something even if there's nothing left in them and it's because they can't walk away they feel very attached to this person in the past eight of cups in the verse talks about you cannot walk away it's like you cannot move and it's not about you know in your mind it's about your heart and with we have the devil upright again so yeah it's a very toxic situation it's a dominating someone they could be dealing with someone you know in the past they could be dealing with someone who's very abusive um overly controlling this is really a toxic situation and they cannot walk away from that before a toxic situation that they would still put their energy their time and effort into that certain situation even if there is nothing left in them so for further cards um more cards other cards uh we have what's this Five Swords of Pride. This is this whole. Uh, sh 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 sh. What's this? Knight of Coins. Queen of Wands. I did not recite. Oh my god. Sh recap. We have Five of Swords of Pride. Ace of Wands in reversed. Knight of Coins. Knight of Pentacles of Pride. Queen of Wands upright and the star this is their current energy oh okay their current energy that explains with the duchess this person is currently in a competition they're, they're, they're channeling the energy of being competitive they're probably in a position of government business authority because we have the star card here their their energy is like the star they're very you know a well-known person the duchess right um this is the current energy yeah that's why this whole thing maybe maybe if you're waiting for someone to come in it's because they're too focused on being competitive on starving so hard how to win every every single day every every game every competition <laughs> they're really working hard you know how to 
win every situation. If they're in a government, if they have business, they're really focused on that, on how, on winning. That's why the new beginning with you is not happening yet. And they're currently embodying this Knight of Pentacles, Upright, and the Queen of Wands. This is a very youthful energy because of the Knight of Pentacles. It could be that they're a mature person, but their energy is very young. Or maybe this is their first life. Uh, with the Queen of Wands upright, this talks about someone who's very passionate with their job, with, with something that they do, with everything, almost everything. The Queen of Wands, right? But it also talks about that they haven't started this, this new beginning with you because they're focused on building something, um, a new project. Because the Queen of Wands could be a project that you really want to start, like right now, because um, Wands represent fire signs. So they're focused on building something because of the Knight of Pentacles. It's like a seed and they want to turn it into, go into a garden. They're focused on how to turn a seed, a small seed into a garden. So they're focusing on a project right now. And that project is going to make them feel like a, they're the star or they're really just em embodying this this kind of energy that I'm really sensing that the, they are well known they are a well known person and that explains with the, the, the duchess I channel the duchess so the advice here is we have an advice for you we have Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Judgment reverse, Eight of Wands upright, and the Page of Cups upright. So focus on yourself on improving yourself and your stability because you're currently in this Queen of Pen Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You're um, you have the potential to be the queen. This could be a block energy that you haven't reached that you know graduation thing. Um, but you have the potential to be the Queen of Pentacles. But it came in reverse, so it could be that you don't have enough money right now or there's something not stable in your life or in your situation that you need to work on. But this person, your future spouse, hasn't had any epiphany yet or a realization that they have to they had to have a relationship or a love life that they have to move forward. So they haven't, because they haven't decided, no, no, they, it's not that they haven't decided yet. It's just that they haven't heard that, ding, you know, the, um, the call from the universe. So this is telling you telling us that it's not the time it's not the right time yet for the two of you to you know get together because I'm really I'm really sensing that you haven't you haven't met yet so yeah focus on focus on yourself on improving yourself on there's something unstable in your life in your current life this could be and um, but this is pentacles in your verse it could this could be something about money financially uh, there's a financial inst instability in your life in your current life but it could be that you're already the queen of pentacles but it came in reverse so that energy is currently blocked maybe something is happening in your life right now that's why you're not embodying the upright version and instead you're embodying the reverse version um, so 
so yeah that's your reading pile number five who chose amanda foreman the duchess um georgiana the duchess of devonshire um yeah this is your reading pile number five i hope this resonates with you um and if you think that this is your energy then subscribe to this channel for more because we have daily readings from monday to friday and we also have monthly readings for each zodiac sign and um, we also have weekly readings for each zodiac sign so yeah if you have any suggestions comment down below um what's the next pick a car reading any suggestion is really welcome um what else yeah see you on the monthly reading for november because if you think that this is your energy that you know something is not stable in your life you're really feeling that or it could be that you know your intuition is going to tell you if this is yours so if you feel like we're connecting on the same energy the daily readings and the monthly readings could also resonate with you because we're like in the same frequency here so yeah um that's it for pile number five if this does not resonate with you then choose another pile okay um take care that's love and bye hello pile number six for those who chose pile number six you chose author cameron crow a writer and a director um this is a pick a card reading for who is your future spouse so for this pile they channeled me um this is the exact sentence they channeled me the statement of cusack and I'm not really sure what does that mean. So I search the statement of Cusack exactly in Google and there's a John Cusack movie where he started and it's called Say Anything and it's written and directed by Cameron Crowe. I haven't watched the movie yet um, but it's about the man is i think it's he fall in love with the girl who's out of his league something like that i'm not really sure what the story is about so maybe you could watch the movie and you know it it's it could be you know connected to this reading um <laughs> it's a weird child Average. so we have Pisces and Aries so you could have a Pisces in your chart or Aries is in, in your chart Sun Moon rising and Venus or this is your future partners so it's exciting um, so we have for your person no, you for your future spouse a personality slash attitude we have the strength card the emperor upright and the knight of cups so this person um not just they have the strength inside of them it's like whatever setbacks they experience they could they they can get up on their own because they have the strength this is really emphasizing that whatever happens in their life there's still that you know sun standing still kind of person with the emperor upright and both the knight of cups so this person is really you know the masculine kind of type um people see them as the emperor or they really are the emperor they could own a business they could own a they could be in something that has a power the emperor also is a mature person they think really wisely um what else um 
I'm sensing a masculine energy that's on their 40s or 50s, but they re they have this Knight of Cups. It means that they have a youthful, um, childlike energy within them. They have this energy of early 20s, but they're emphasizing that they're they are a responsible person. They're not acting like a childish or foolish way um what else they could also be stern uptight workaholic dominant in a way that Okay, dominant is not the right word. Um, they can lead a project and they can, you know, um, put a task on someone, you know, distribute the task, something like that. But it can be um, a dominating energy for some, for the, the people around them. You know, the outsider might see them as someone who's really a dominant figure. But they're really not. They're just being the leader that the group or the project needs. So we have Eight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles of, uh, in reverse, and Five of Wands in the right. So this is about walking away from unstable relationships. It could be... Really, um, a girlfriend, partner, wife, husband, or it could be you know, um, in the work community, or maybe a family member, it, something that that was stable before and or in the past, but it's not stable anymore. They're walking away from that, and they're fighting hard to walk away from that. It's like, there are certain people, okay, hold on. There are certain people around them that's stopping them from walking away. Because five of ones is like a petty fight. Something that is not necessary. It's like those people are like telling them not to go or not to walk away, but there's no stopping them. Not no one or nothing can stop them. This person, you, your future spouse. It's like this people wants this person to remain in a in a toxic. Or unstable relationship so this is their past story um, something that's really really private that they don't want to share with anyone even with you or maybe they could share with you but it would take a long time for them to open up so we have Knight of Swords in reverse, Nine of Cups upright, and the Five of Swords in reverse. So in the past, they can get anything that they want. Because the Nine of Cups, Nine of Cups talks about something that, you know, you, your wish. This is about your, the wish. Nine of Swords in your verse talks about the upright talks about communication, someone coming in or communication, but it came in your verse. So, this is um, hold on. Um, we, <laughs> we have five swords in your verse. So, if you if we're going to read this together, it means that in the past they can get anything that they want from anyone without asking, without fighting for it without defending themselves without 
without any argument they can get it if they want to even if they don't have to communicate with it so that's our pass this is a very simple reading like no no complication no nothing really something that i have to figure out i don't know why it's it's really clear and we have the high priestess in reverse nine of wands upright and the hangman in reverse um so in the past they found out some secrets because high priestess in upright talks about someone who who knows about something but does not reveal things and only reveal the things that they think that needs to be revealed in the public but it came in reverse so this talks about a big re revelation maybe within their circle or in their family but i'm guessing this is a family thing they found out something or they gathered some information about something and it made them put some boundaries and act defensive towards other people this past this whole situation made them move ahead because of the hangman in reverse it did not stop them from moving ahead despite keep i'm not sensing that this is i'm so sorry for the dogs i'm not sensing that this is something bad but i'm really sensing that this whole situation in the past made them set their boundaries from people and sometimes they can come across as a very defensive person but not in a bad way because this past made them feel like they have to move ahead this past made them feel like they have to continuously move despite this happening despite this something that they found out despite the lies despite the information that they don't want to receive or see it it really it brought out some oh uh, what what do you call this one um this drive within them to achieve something they achieve this this strand this this emperor energy and this knight of cups because of this past because of what they found out um i'm not really sensing that this is something like really um a betrayer or something but we don't really know but i'm not sensing some really bad vibes here but there's an information that they found out and it really made them set their their boundaries in a in a healthy way so we have this is their current energy um we have eight of pentacles in reversed what's this ace of ace of cups in reverse four of cups in reverse mm. um their current energy is that they're learning they're learning not to love hold on it's not that they're learning not to love but they're learning hold on they're telling me something
They're learning not to let love in that fast. It's because they're focusing on the other opportunities. This could be work opportunities or th there's something on the outside that's been giving them some opportunities to to succeed. And they're really focused on that. They're learning that they have to be this queen of pentacles. They have to be independent and successful and stable, financially and emotionally stable with themselves as an independent person before they before they um, before they let love in in their life also we have ten of pentacles in reverse and the magician in reverse they feel like they they can achieve the ten of pentacles of pride which is a stable perfected family uh, with a solid foundation family with the very it's just so perfect because it's the last among you know from one to ten it's a ten of pentacles so they feel like they won't be able to settle down or they don't like to settle down if they feel like they cannot manifest anything or they don't have any goals manifestation or they haven't achieved anything they feel like they can't have it's not that they can have it's like they should have hold on it's like they feel like they should be the queen of pentacles first before they settle and it's not because that uh, they don't want to let love in it's just that they don't want to be unfair on the person that they're letting in because they want to be fair with the other person they want to offer something to what am what else am i getting with this card they haven't completed a chapter yet and it's it's also one of the reasons why this is this isn't happening yet if you're waiting for your future spouse they're really focused on money right now on building stability within them first before they come in So for the advice for you guys, we have the Chariot Upright, Seven of Swords in Reverse, and Knight of Cups Upright. Okay, so we're back. The video cut, cut off again. Um, so here's the advice, the Chariot, the Seven of Swords Reverse, and the Knight of Cups again. We have the Knight of Cups twice in this reading, so this is really heavily indicating that we have a youthful energy with this man with your future spouse despite the um, leader role kind of energy in their exterior and also within them but they're really their heart they're telling me that oh hold on. they're telling me that their heart is pure innocent and their soul is very childlike with the Knight of Cups. So the chariot. Hmm. The advice is focus on your goals, focus on your dreams, and focus on your destination because that's the most important thing on your path or um, the role you're about to take or that you want to take. Focus on your destination for now. That's the chariot and upright so um with the seven of swords reverse and the knight of cups 
so this talks about that if you focus on yourself on achieving what you want to achieve on your goals on um you know hold on they tell me something focus on what you want what what you want to do in the future on um, what you love your hobbies your hobbies could also create a financial stability for the future that's what they tell me um if you do that if you could work on that if if you're going to succeed in this this is what you're going to get and because this is you know the first stage um on the second stage you're going to get like on on the next next phase um seven of swords it means that it came in reverse so with this person there's no lies there's no betrayal there's no deceitfulness it's just pure light-hearted warm loving kind of energy kind of relationship it's just all about pure and innocence it's very like despite this this emperor qualities that they have it's just very very loving nature maybe in the past you've experienced that your partner lied to you or betrayed you or maybe um the ce about something but with this person it's reversed it's something different So yeah, that's your reading pile number six. Who chose Cameron Crow? Um, if you haven't watched Say Anything, that film, um, please check it out because you could maybe find some references. I'm guessing that the film is actually connected to this reading because I channeled the statement of Guzak. Um, I'll probably watch say anything after this reading. <laughs> But um, yeah, that's your reading, pile number six on who is your future spouse. If this resonates with you, then subscribe to this channel for more. We have daily readings from Monday to Friday. We also have monthly readings for each zodiac sign, and also weekly starting October. So if you think we're connecting on the same frequency and energy here we could also be connecting on the other videos and if it's if this if this does not resonate with you then choose another pile because this is for someone else we don't like forcing anything that's not for us right uh what else oh so just your pick a card readings um if you have any suggestion on what's my next pick a card reading video comment down below your suggestion i read your comments so thank you for subs for the subscribe for the likes and comments and for your dislikes and also your suggestion so thank you so much um it really it's really overwhelming because this is my first time you know sharing this kind of thing <laughs> to the public um what else yeah um that's it pile number six <laughs> this is your reading um yeah take care lots of love and bye